another butte going in the well. Hey guys, welcome on back to the channel. Today we are looking at uh, spawning crappie. So this is this is one of my favorite times of the year because we got bass up in the shallows, uh, top water starts getting good. Um, you start to get some fish moving off. You got fry garters and all that stuff. Meanwhile, crappie are just doing their thing. Typically on videos, you're watching me catching crappie and most everybody, we're out there fishing uh, brush. Uh, we're out in deep water, we're using the electronics and all that. But this this is the time of year where you can literally go up on the bank. Uh, you can walk around the bank and catch crappie. I'm fishing out of the boat today. I was just kind of cruising through here and uh, uh, I was talking to a guy just walking around and I was like, you catch anything? He's like, yeah, I'm catching some crappie. I'm trying to catch bass. And that just told me everything I needed to know. I was like, well, I'm breaking out the crappie jigs and I'm going crappie fishing right here. So uh, this time of year, crappie are going to try to find anything hard they can spawn on. Bass are very similar, but it's going to be stumps, it's going to be shallow brush, trees, um, something that's going to have some protection. Um, I'm going to rig up two rigs. I'm going to have one for just kind of working the jig. Uh, I may rig up a bobber rig uh, as well, but crappie spawn in a swarm technique. It, it's just one female tons of males and it's like whatever is getting in the zone um, they're gonna eat it so it's all about just getting it in that zone keeping it there and uh, getting one to attack so you slip bobbers like this you can use a little bobber rig and you can just float it over that area that works extremely well I like to feel that thump so I've got just a jig head rigged on here uh, with the plastic so I'm gonna be using some of our plastics that we're working on uh, for the Guggen crappie. Let's go get some. Crappie fishing, I'm using a really light rod. This is kind of, this is one of our rods we're, we're working on here for uh, for crappie panfish. A light rod, literally a light. <laughs> there's light and there's ultra light, there's medium lights. This is a light. So for the slip rig, I'm just gonna put one of, this one of our little bobber stops right here slip that on the line then I'm going to feed my line through cork so you'll kind of adjust that depending on where you think the depth of the fish is I think they're gonna be you know about two foot here so then I'm gonna take one of these really light weights this is a 16th ounce you can go all the way down to 1 32nd it's a really shallow snip that okay really hard to beat natural look at that little buddy that's a little little dangle bug still working on sizes but that right there is just that's an irresistible cricket bobber hangs in the water it's gonna go up and it's gonna it's gonna be stopped by the stop there so when I throw it out it's all together and then when it goes hits the water it comes down and my other rig is just going to be a little standard unit, 16th ounce head, and then I can work that one like a jig. So that's for a little quicker action. So this is like a backwater marina type area. This is, uh, marinas are always good for any type of uh, spawning fish. You know, they provide a lot of protection, and usually there's some man made uh, features to it that enhance. Um, you know the structure so there's a lot of riprap you know there's um, there's walkways there's pipes there's all sorts of things for for fish to get on and I'm gonna just throw it up there fairly close to the bank and I'm gonna work this bait down just kind of work it down till I feel a thump and when I get a bite then I'm gonna slow down with that cork rig try to figure out exactly the depth and just hang it in there but they're pretty aggressive when they're spawning so should be able to get one to bite it as it's coming through the spawning area I'm actually going to switch this up go with a swimming style bait's going to be a little slower a little slower fall 
Got to catch them while they're hanging here. A little saucy style swimmer on there. Micro swimmer, that's pretty good. Looks like a little minnow swimming through. Oh, there's one. Oh my gosh. Absolute thump. I mean, smoked it. Wow, that's a good one. Come here, Sally. That is a black crappie. Look how colored up it is, y'all. And down the hatch. <laughs> that was a fun thump. Finders keepers, I think we'll say. That one's pretty beat up. Oh, yeah. Now we're going to try to throw that cork rig in the exact same spot I think I got bit. Let's see if that bobber will dip down. There, there it goes. God. Got bit like immediately. Try to do a little bit more dissecting here with the bobber. There's a bite. Got him. Oh, come off. Dang gun. Oh, there it goes. Oh my goodness. Man, losing them right here. Mm-hmm. There we go. Just take it easy. Right up there on the cork rig. Another decent black crappie. So what that's allowing me to do is keep that bait up there in the shallows just a little bit longer. Actually a lot longer. <laughs> Gotta be 10 inches, 10 and a half. There's another one, wah-bam the cork rig another one clone just a male clone we have to check these guys here yeah, they're almost 11 that's pretty good it's probably a nest over here I just missed throwing the moving bait. I think that one's already getting another bite. Yep. There it goes. It's a little guy, I think. I think slamming this rig though. Hey, yeah, you're about the same, but we'll let you go. Look at that. Mmm. Juicy fruit. Mm, got him under that tree. Drifted it under the tree for the big schnozberry. Mm, that was cool. That was something that I just can't do with a regular jig. <laughs> just drifted it up under the tree. fish there you go man look how colored up these fish are that one's tiny we'll let him go oh man i've got some fish under it i see them i like see their tail there he goes come on that fish like crept up under it followed it you're so dark right now, I could see you. Camouflage was not working, dude. Beautiful. Those are gonna fry up so nice. Okay, so the cork method 
pretty effective here, you know, once you find the fish. But biggest one in the live well right now is coming on the mover, the swim bait. Got him. Mm. Here we go. Come here, baby. A little better, guys. I don't know what it is. Getting the better ones on the swim bait for sure. Look at that one. And it's gone. Gone, gone. That one's a keeper. It's not a hook set with the crappie. <clears throat> it's just get pressure on them. Have that sensitive light rod. There he is. Come on. Just sitting on that cable down there. That hose, whatever that is. Little small. We'll let you go. We'll keep, but we already got some safety keepers now. So I'm just sitting on this blue hose here. Hmm. Goodness. Is that a white bass? That's a largemouth. Yep. <clears throat> Spotted bass, actually. They're the ones that tear your baits up. This is a bait that I'm, I'm probably not going to throw on the brush piles that much, you know, because usually I'm just right on top of them. Don't need much tail movement at all. Sometimes they don't like tail movement, but right now they like it a lot. All right, let's do some damage. Mm-hmm. Shallow, buddy. So the way I'm working this jig is I'm just trying to keep it right off the bottom. This bank's at a 45 degree angle where these rocks are set up, so throwing it kind of close to the bank. I'm sitting in 15 foot here. And then I'm just working that rod tip up, letting it sink, work it up, just jigging it. As it falls, that tail's kicking it. There's one, there's a better one. Oh, he felt better. He was down there a little deeper. Yeah, right at 10. Good go. You could also just parallel the bank, stay in the strike zone a little better, but this, this bank's pretty steep. I think there's some crappie that are kind of roaming a little bit deeper, so I'm going to work it. Just work it down. God, I love fishing like this. They just jump the line. The line just flinches on you. Just kind of took it. Just took it. Better one. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So black crappie, they're a little smaller, but they are. Then they usually live like shallower, around shallower cover. Another butte going in the well. All right. See if we can get another one here. We are spanking them. Spanking a lot of little ones. Oh, goodness. Just smacked me around. That's a good one. Line just flinched. That is a white crappie. There we go. Got one different one in the mix. And a lot of times they'll hybridize. So you'll have uh, black crappie, white crappie, and you'll get hybrids. And the hybrids are actually pretty big. All right, throw it all the way as far as we can up there. Another hit. Oh, goodness. Runner. Boy, you felt like a three-pound bass for a second. 
had it sideways. Little boy. Oh my gosh. Just cracking them, guys. This is a big nest right here. Cracking them on the saucy. It looks like a hybrid. It's really interesting. So it's got the uh, vertical bars, but it's also got these black specks down here. So I believe this one is a hybrid. Quite a small hybrid. Hybrids are cool, we'll let them go. I'm also seeing some shad on the electronics that are just kind of hovering out here. Oh my, wah bammers. I mean, guys. A jig bite is a jig bite is a jig bite. <laughs> I don't care. Oh, that fish just spit out. A, oh, that was literally my saucy. Thought he spit out a real minnow. A jig bite is a jig bite, okay? When you lighten up your gear and you're getting thumped by a crappie, it feels just like a bass jig bite because they are sucking it into their throat. It hits the back of their throat, and that's that exhilarating thump that you feel when a bass bites a jig that I love so much. So same thing on this. We're just using a light rod. What are you? 10 and a half, 11, 10 and a half, we'll let you go. So much fun. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try a little Mondo worm here. This thing is like all tail. It's like a big grub, really light head. This thing should just kind of float down there. Extremely slow sinking. Let's see what they do with it. Smoke it, first cast. Wow. Wowie. There we go, good one. It's a white crappie. So there's, when you're jig fishing, there's really two ways to, well, my other camera just died. There's really two ways to control your, uh, the speed of your fall on your jig. So you can uh, increase your weight or you can uh, lighten up your trailer and it goes the opposite way. So if you want to lighten up your fall, you can add a bigger trailer. So this tail has a lot of water pull and with that uh, 16th ounce head it's, it's just barely gonna sink down there but it's got a lot of tail movement so it's gonna make it real good for just swimming in the shallows real shallows oh I just had another one so once you figure out uh, where you're getting a couple bites I mean even if you get one bite take a look at the bank remember what tree it is or what whatever's on the bank and throw to that exact same spot again it's bobbin time bobbin bandito time got a little, got a little wind situation here oh bopped got him a little cleanup a little cleanup work with the bobber Keeper for sure. Oh yeah, buddy. Looks like another hybrid. Let's switch it up. Oh, I've got some more. Got some more saucies just on this little bit of color. Oh goodness. Big doink. Little buddy. Gone. Man, they are sucking this. Oh, sucking this saucy down. Okay. I think I got bit three times right there. Or I got this one on. Black crappie. You little. Yeah, 
that, buddy. Brr. Beautiful crappie. Oh my gosh. That is uh, that is going tattooed on the arm, right? Just like that. In like another month. I know I said I was going to do that like two years ago, but uh, it's going to happen. There's a little bonus crappie. As I was idling out here, saw this uh, just just main lake bank. Just the main lake bank, or not a main lake, but it's inside inside of the uh, pocket. You know, it's got rocks on it, so I thought I'd just make a couple of couple little rando cast with the saucy ooh wah bam right there on the bank come here sir this is just I mean I'm just going down the bank here smash There could be one that just sneaks his way up there by that brush. Yep. Uh -huh. Come here, baby. Oh, you're a good one. Let's see if we can get up there by that little piece of brush. Oh. Oh got here big boy big black crappie coming to town holy cow man just putting putting a clinic on right now god I, I don't know what this is just got bit by something big it's probably largemouth yep largemouth fun little fight Ah, you know, bass are interesting little creatures. Get so dialed into, you know, shad colors and everything. But heck, a lot of times they'll eat something like that. Some funky color. All right, got a little riprap right here. More gradual slope, but looks pretty good looks similar 17 foot plenty of water it's pretty steep i may have to get right up on the bank oh there's one yeah, that cast I, I went all the way to the bank with it there it is Just a little bit tighter beautiful Mm, a little short, bud. Oh, goodness. Iridescent crappie. They are on the beds. Micro swim baits. That's a three pounder. Pretty nice. Let's see, bud. Oh my gosh. Taken. Oh, just 
is taken. Yep, there you go. Good. I'm here. Mom. Mm. Riprap is just holding these fish for spawning. Oh my gosh. What do we have here? Oh my gosh, it's a huge bass. I'm telling you. This little saucy just gets it's all of them. Oh my gosh, look at this bass. It's like a five pounder. About to go into the rocks. This is insane. Oh my gosh. Dude. What a fight. I'm just out here trying to catch a crappie, dude. Why you gotta mess with me like that? Why you gotta mess with me? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to y'all, I mean, I, love, I really love crappie fishing <clears throat> for a lot of reasons, but one of my favorite reasons is that bass and crappie live in the same, the same type environments. Look at that bass, that little saucy, just down the hatch. When they're that big on a rod, that small, it just feels like, it just feels like weight. See you, bud. It's a good hard fight on that noodle rod. I appreciate you. Are you up here eating crappie? Garden fry? You look pretty healthy. You might just be up here eating shad. A little nose tickle. And off she goes. I kind of want to end it on that fish just because it's so funny. But we'll give it another cast or two. Just that right there. That little nugget right there. A lot of a lot of plastics you get that are this small, they just don't swim. They don't swim good at all. This one, our engineer Isaac nailed it. I got another bass. Oh my gosh. So boy my boy Isaac at Guggen headquarters has nailed this little thing I got another one this one's a crappie <laughs> oh, yeah, this fish is so good I wish you guys were here it's crazy it's a good one good one to end on I don't want to stop but my buddy's about to be here and I got to go meet him going into the box. Well guys, I'm just gonna say it. I think this is my favorite day on the water so far this year. I've caught three nine pounders so far uh, this season, but this is my favorite time when everything is full swing, fish are hitting the bank, and I, you know, I'm out here crappie fishing, catching bass. That is when I'm in my 100% happy dangle place right there. So again, 16th ounce jigs. That's a really good weight when you're fishing up in the shallows. If you guys want to do the cork rig, this is especially good if um, if you've got some tree overhangs or something, you're fishing the, the bank or even out of a boat that you just can't you can't really get your lure under and swim it through effectively. Maybe they want it a little slower. Um, if you throw this just around the cover, let it sink to the right depth, adjust that bobber stop up and down just depending on the depth, where you think the bottom is, where the fish are sitting. Uh, this is a really good way to target them. Hope you guys learned something from today's crappie catch. 
I obviously had a blast. I love days like this, especially when I can catch fish and teach you guys something that uh, I'm picking up little things as I'm fishing and, and talking about it. So uh, just good stuff. Smash that like button. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And comment, comment, comment. Uh, the YouTube algorithms, I think they, they like that sort of thing. So help me grow a little bit. Godspeed. May God bless you in the great outdoors. And I'll see you.